the break from wild weather. I'm really concerned about the growing possibility of a major atmospheric river storm happening to the American Pacific West Coast in February. We've been having wave after wave of storms in atmospheric rivers hit the West Coast. We saw some nasty, nasty flooding in California, and I fear it's going to keep on, keep it on. Party people. Um, now, I could be totally wrong, because this thing that has me concerned, the models have drawn it four days from now. And then we're getting wave after wave in this way. Interesting. Very. What is a giant V? All right. See if you can spot one of the main reasons I made this video. If you pick this large semi-phallic cloud bridge as your choice, then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mother Nature has a dirty mind. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. We will get to the main reason I made this video. Wait, let me point out something super cray cray first. We're looking at the surface wing, and it's weird because this wing's coming this way, and this wing's just deciding to go that way. Why? What the hell is this? Right there. See that? I remember seeing something like this before. It's not a cyclone. It's like a giant diamond or something. All right, but super main reason number one why I'm making this video, warning everybody on the West Coast, in Mexico, and even in Texas and New Mexico about possible giant megastorm coming in February, which is only four days away, is this thing right here. See it? All right, it's been like a couple days since I checked this, but that that wasn't there before. So whereas we've been getting most of our stuff coming from the north and then coming down, what I'm worried about is sometime in the near future, we could get this one combined with this one for a super mega storm. I'm talking about the mythical pink triangle of doom. I made that up. There's no pink triangle of doom myth, I don't think. He's gonna come and give you a wet punch in the face. Be prepared. Who knows that this could, yes, this could definitely pull through here for sure. So notice if we look at, let's look at it in here, shall we? See, here's our little area. Once again. Nah, screw that. It's a lot of water vapor. And then it's gonna get pulled through here. Boom. But if this hooks up, all that water's going somewhere. If you notice right now, the jet stream is swinging on through. So yeah, I think the big problem would come is if the top jet stream, the bottom jet stream, it's funny I didn't say that, hook up and create a super storm baby. Wow, that looks windy through there. Is that really that windy right now? Holy smokerinos. Yep, sun, sun looks weird. Sunspot, 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 giant kernel hole. Okay, this giant kernel hole passed. And now we got another one on the way. This is not about solar weather. Not right now. I'm looking for, I was looking for something. Mm. Now we're going to be looking at water vapor, our old friend, water vapor, and I are back together again. Why am I tired? Oh, now watch how it's just kind of like growing from nowhere. Yeah, that's wild. That is crazy. Somehow this looks up with that. It would be right there. So yeah, if two hook up, so this can happen right about here. Sweet. Okay. There's something happening here. What it is, I'm not perfectly clear. We have a giant cloud water bridge. I used to call it a bacon strip, but now that it's like five times the size of a bacon strip, I don't know what to call it. Now we're looking at water vapor. We're trying to. So like this area is going to be headed. And notice how even the secondary jet stream it's pulling it up here and then back out here. Down here looks pretty nasty too. Wow, look at that giant V in there. It's weird how like the sub-equator jet stream is kind of headed this way, but some of it is being siphoned off this way, and then we're getting wave after wave going this way. Interesting. Very. What is that giant V? See, look at it grow. That is crazy. That is Thor News record level. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Other than that, it's really weird and strange and bizarre. The weather is such a dynamic process. So now we are looking at total cloud water. Yeah, it sounds like the two points are connected. That's crazy. Yes, that is just wild. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, that's definitely bigger than anything I've ever seen on these maps. It's definitely bigger than anything I've ever seen on these maps. Seems like we have more than one. That is wild. What we're looking at here is total cloud water. So this giant total cloud water cloud sitting off the Pacific. And then this. That is wild. And that's reason to be concerned, stay aware. I'm not trying to fear monger. I'm just thinking best case and worst case scenarios. And best case, nothing really comes from it except for a little more rain. Worst case, holy smokes. Could be bad. It's a lot of water. All right. I mean, sea level pressure. Holy crud. That's not good. What's weird is that thing down here doesn't have a lot of low pressure. All right. What we like to do here is we go in the future. This is today, the 27th. And this whole process is kind of weird. Boom. 28th. This shows it kind of just dispersing. But over the last few days, it didn't even show it there. And it just grew out of nowhere. So we're now going to the 29th. And so this whole storm doesn't really move forward. This just kind of vanishes. And then we have this thing heading over. And on the 30th, this doesn't make it to the coast. It just kind of hangs out there. There's your next one coming. And then your next one coming. And now we're going to get to the big day, the 31st, which is why I made the video. Okay, boom. On this map and model, on the 31st, look at this. It shows, so it shows this whole giant arm of water and rain all the way through, I mean, almost all the way across America. Now, ending up at Chicago, you know, that's pretty monumental. And then you got these next ones lining up. That's why I made it, because four days from now, it looks like we're going to have some really weird weather. So, just stay, wow, yeah, it looks weird. So just stay alert, be aware, if I'm wrong, nothing major comes from it, but I think I had enough weirdness to look at to be like, hey people, let's stay on alert, seems like there's a lot more rain than usual. Oh wow, that yeah, means sea level pressure. Creepy AF. Oh yeah, yeah, I don't even, wow, that's weird, it's like a box now. Isn't that good? 
That's not good at all. That's not good. Okay, I'm leaving. That's weird. It's all weird. Everything's weird. I don't know why. That gives me kind of an earthquakey feel. But I'm not a professional earthquakey predictor. If you want that, go to Dutch Sense. And Esso seems to be pretty good at it too. Okay. Okay. Peace out. God bless everyone. Okay, peace out. God bless everyone. While the majority of Canada and America have finally got a day or two break from wild weather, I'm really concerned about the growing possibility of a major atmospheric river storm happening to the American Pacific West Coast in February. We've been having wave after wave of storms and atmospheric rivers hit the West Coast. We saw some nasty, nasty flooding in California, and I fear it's going to keep on keeping on. Party people. Um, now, I could be totally wrong, because the thing that has me concerned, the models have drawn it four days from now. And then we're getting wave after wave going this way. Interesting. Barry, what is a giant V? All right, see if you can spot one of the main reasons I made this video. If you pick this large semi-phallic cloud bridge as your choice, then yeah, yeah, okay. Mother Nature has a dirty mind. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Wait. We will.